Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church. In the name of the Father and of the Son. More than 2,600 families celebrating, serving, and walking with God together. To paint you a picture of the beauty of this parish, I'd have to do it in people. Talk about people being loyal to each other. Talk about people being gentle to each other. Talk about people being kind to each other. It's the living church. It's the living Christ. You can feel God in just the decency and the love and the kindness of people. I think there's a beauty also in the actual physical property here because just a very short distance out there, there is the expressway and the traffic jams and all the noise and the trappings of the world. And you can come to this sacred place and it's quiet and it cleanses you from all that's out there and it just renews you. You see God's Spirit at work in so many different ways and places. From the people outside who are gardening and pulling out the weeds and making our environment beautiful, to the people who are taking communion to the sick, to the teachers in faith formation. I mean, you see it everywhere. I think the sense of community is, is one that is second to none. We call it the one-stop shop. You know, we have all the things that build a family and build a sense of belonging from obviously the most basic, which is church and mass. Son. And faith formation, which is a, a, you know, a whole different layer of our faith. That layer of faith grows at the Marin Center, a place where our children, teens, and adults can nourish their faith learn about God's unconditional love and enter into a deeper relationship with Him and His church. When I look at the next generation, I know that it is so important that they learn about the Catholic faith, not only tradition, but know about God. And if they know Him, what comes next is that they love Him. I like learning about God because it's interesting what He does for all of us. My teachers explain me about God and what happens around my daily life and how it helps me and how I can help everyone else. I want to know about my faith because it really, it's a way for me to connect to God and me going to live teen, I understand what the homily, you know, when, when the priest says and I understand the readings and the gospel. As in joyful celebration we acclaim. And it really, I connect. The classes I take, it turns what's going on in the big church to kid version and like fun. The whole faith formation program is a great way for families to become close together. I mean, I remember I would come home and be like, mom, like, guess what we did today in Life Teen? Like we talked about this and this relates to my life and it's crazy how God speaks to you and it's that like moment just brings you together. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. We are a diverse and dynamic parish and we are growing dramatically. This is the fastest growing quarter in San Antonio. It will be that for many years. So we've only just started to see the beginning of the growth. I'm actually in real estate, so I do know that we are growing big time in Leon Springs. There's a lot of new development out here. Um, new schools, which bring young families, which is what brought us out here. And knowing that there was a Catholic church close by was a huge selling point for us. Since 2011, we've welcomed almost 1,000 new families, and the number of children in faith formation has grown 180%. Over the next seven years, the number of homes and apartments within our parish boundaries is expected to double. Past trends tell us that twice as many families will be looking for their spiritual home, and twice as many children will be entering faith formation. Participation in adult parish organizations and ministries will grow as well. Great news and a definite call to action. This area is experiencing tremendous growth and we're seeing it change every day. And I think it's pertinent for the church to keep up with that growth. Preparing for our future starts now. Introducing Learning to Walk with God, a capital campaign for St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church. I'm learning to walk with God. I'm learning to walk with God. I'm learning to walk with God. If we can look at three to five years going forward, 
we can really position our community and our, our parish to really be a place where people can call home. In the name of the Father. A place that can make an impact on people's lives. That impact starts with our primary focus and most pressing need, building a new Faith Formation Center. We're overcrowded today. So this is something we need now. We literally cannot stick our head in the sand and pretend it's not going to happen. And so we have to build the building. Having a dedicated building that says, this is where you come to learn more about God. I think that says a lot. We know we go to hear the Word of God at church. This is where you come to learn more about God. And if you have more questions, this is where you come. And if we answered all your questions, well, this is where you come and share what you know about God. I think that's what's important. Our Marin Center has served us well over the years. What we have today is, is great, and really the, the secret sauce is the teachers and the, the coordinators that are actually involved. And I believe the community is seeing that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Our Holy classrooms Spirit. are packed, and I love that. I love that our classrooms are packed. I think it's awesome that parents want their children to learn. It's just not always a conducive environment. Our new Faith Formation Center is the answer, with more space to accommodate and cultivate the next generation of the faithful, a growing number of youth at all ages. We're growing at a fast, fast pace, and it's good, but we have to provide for them when they come here, and it's important for them not to be a waiting list or anything like that because we need to help them be a part of the parish. And I think you start with the kids. Eventually, I will have 175 registered. So I will have the need for that growth and um, having the larger area will just supplement it perfectly. It'll be just exactly what we need. Our adult ministries and programs also feel the need for more space, especially in terms of meeting rooms and offices. There's ministries that we want to have that we can't. The children are brought by their parents, and there's like this little window of time where the parents could also be given a time to learn in their faith instead of them just dropping off and then waiting to go into Mass. Yet, we don't have a place to do that. When the new Faith Formation Center is complete, adult ministries and education programs will move into the Marin Center. This will give adult parishioners who seek to deepen their faith and strengthen their sense of community a place of their own. It'll bring us a separation for the children to have their own educational building. It separates the age groups from the kindergarten, first graders, second graders, third graders, and the junior high, high school. It separates those two into a learning center and a environment that'll, that'll be very conducive for their education and leave the Marion Center for us older folks <laughs> to, to spend, it will become a, uh, an adult facility. So that, uh, that gives a significant growth for all of us as parishioners. The body of Christ. Part of what church is is community and I think people need to plug in in order to grow in their faith. Um, and with more space and more programs and more ways to get involved with the church and with our community, we will all grow stronger in our faith. I think that's super important. Everyone who comes through those doors to feel like this is their home and there is a place for them here. Take this, all of you, and Jesus. A faith home for everyone includes the families with babies and young children who are joining our parish. I baptize you in the name of the Father. We want to provide cry rooms and changing rooms that will give moms and dads a chance to more fully participate in the Mass with their families. Your gift in support of this campaign will help provide a more conducive and welcoming area of the church for these young families. Your investment will help build the new Faith Formation Center, transform the Marin Center for Adult Ministries, and increase the number of parking spaces. Together, we will help usher in a new era in our church, an era that will bring your faith to the future for decades to come, an era that embraces young families, focuses on the spiritual needs of our adult parishioner and an era that teaches our children and their children how to walk and live with God. It's such a great opportunity for us to open our doors and allow more people to come and sit at our spiritual table. I would encourage everyone to prayerfully consider donating and 
you know, contributing to this campaign so that they can see that same growth and really feel like they are a part of something bigger than them. I would say that the greatest thanks that I can give to people is to tell them that when they are giving to this building fund, they are actually evangelizing the children of the present and the children of the future. And because of that sacrificial offering that they will make, children today, children in 10 years time, children in 50 years time will learn about God, will make their first communion, will make their first confession, will have the gift of God in their life. And I'd ask them to reflect on the value of what's going to happen with their gift and then to see their gift in terms of a spiritual gift to God rather than a fundraising response to anything. I'm learning to walk with God. I'm learning to walk with God. I'm learning to walk with God. Learning to walk with God. A capital campaign to open new pathways to God for those who seek Him. <laughs>